So for those of you who've been watching my live streams, know that we've been building up kind of like this city space. And uh, if you don't know, then, you know, subscribe, notification button. Now we're gonna be looking at the render set studio by the guys from Polygonic. And there's quite a few features in here that I'm actually finding really interesting, but let's just kind of go through it. At the moment, these are all my render settings that I have for this steel frame. However, you know, if I wanted to work on a different world lighting, so on and so forth, uh, let's call this one the default. I don't want to be changing all the information, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to press plus sign and this is going to be my second render. And I want to go HDRI one and just use material add-on five. Let's just quickly throw in HDRI. Yar, ooh, this night one. Urban bridge, lovely. That's not bad. Um, however, this is going to be going on Instagram. So let's go 2048 by 2048 and the focal length let's let's just really zoom in on it nice i like that let's just turn on persistent data let's do another render i'm going to press plus sign i'm just going to call this render three uh, but with this one here i'm going to go ahead and create a new camera shift a camera control numpad zero to make this the main camera let's go gg change it out and we'll just change the location to about, let's go something like this. Uh, render three, make sure we've got the second camera selected. Nice. This one can be wide again. 1920 by 1080. Cool bananas. Uh, let's change HDRI. Might just jump back into the material. Browse. I want that dusk. Oof. Let's go with that. And now I've kind of got my images. I can now just go render all. And now it's going to go through the process of rendering all my images that I've got selected. And then if we click on the folder, we can have a look at what it looks like. And we've got our square image. We've got our first original image. Now, because I didn't set a new camera and I moved it, it has now gone off of those second sets of settings. But then we also have that third render that we've done. Now, the other beautiful feature is that we can do rendered animations as well. So no more waking up at two o'clock in the morning to press render on the next animation. This is a time saver.